How's it going, everyone? Nick Baldwin here, regional technology trainer for Michigan and Northern Ohio uh, in Keller Williams. Hey, um, I'm going to show you a brand new feature in command right now, how to create uh, a custom HTML email uh, for a new listing you just took, for something you just sold, open house, doesn't really matter. I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's jump on in and uh, I'll show you the ways. Let's do it. Here we go. Okay, cool. So we are in command and I'm in design. So you got to go to designs. And when you're in designs, you want to click this little plus button here and you want to choose email. All right. So email, and then we're going to click next. And I have all sorts of brand new templates to choose from. All of you guys have this. This is in command right now. I'm just going to use this first one for sale. Let's click next. And we'll see the template pop up here. Now you can edit everything here on this template, which is pretty awesome. Okay, so let's uh, edit the um, HTML. I'm sorry, the image for our for our logo. So we'll click edit and click this little icon here, the pencil, and let's replace it with. And I've uploaded a KW logo, but if you want to add your own, you just go to add images and click browse files and upload it from your hard drive. So I already have it here. I'm going to select that one. And then we want to click done and we're going to keep for sale. Uh, now I want to add a photo. So I'm going to click the photo, then I'm going to click edit and I'm going to click replace. Now this is pretty cool because I can choose from listing images and I can search for the property address, KWLS number or MLS number. So let's do property address. And today I'm going to use one of my buddies listings, Ken Posick, down in Orlando, Florida, because it's an awesome home. So 12886 Lake Sawyer Lane. So I'm going to cl click that. And then all the photos pop up. So I can choose the photos I want to use. I'm going to use the front of the house, replace. And um, let's see. Oh, I definitely want to link this to either a landing page or a web address. Let's use a web address. And I've got the listing pulled up here on my KW website. So I'm just going to grab the link and copy. And then I'm just gonna throw it right in there. All right, perfect. And then I'm going to click done. So when we click this image, uh, it will bring us to the actual listing itself. All right, so here I want to edit the property address. And I believe it was, oh, 12886. Yep, let's do that. So 12, eight, oh, 12866 Lake Sawyer. Whoops. Lane. And that's Windermere, I think. Windermere, probably spelling it wrong, but that's okay. Windermere, Florida. Okay. And now I want to click done. Perfect. That showed up here. Let's change the price. And the price is, where's the price? Oh, here it is. $829. I'll copy that. Throw it right in there. All right. Done. Perfect. And uh, let's see, three, two and a half, 3,000 square feet. How, what's the specs? Four beds, three baths, three, four, five, eight square feet. Okay, so let's go back here and let's edit this. Four baths. And we want to edit the beds. I mean, the, I'm sorry. We, <laughs> no, I, I clicked done. There we go. Now we want to edit the Baths, I think it's at three, it really doesn't matter because it's just an example. And square footage, there we go, done, perfect. Now we want to maybe throw in some description here. So um, I can just take, for simplicity's sake, let's just take some of the um, description from the listing itself and I'll edit this. Throw that in there and let's center it all. Perfect. Done. And here uh, I could say something like, you know, click below to watch 
the video tour. Yep, that's right, guys. I'm going to throw a video tour in there. So click done on that. And I'm probably going to want to make this a little bit more prominent. Let's make it bigger so people can see that. Done. Perfect. That looks great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually delete this CTA button, call to action button. I'm going to bring this video widget over and oops, let me go down here a little bit, bring this video widget over and I want to put it right there. Okay. Now I want to go to YouTube and I want to grab the video link and copy it and then come back over here and enter it. And I want to replace the image here for a thumbnail. So let's replace. And I can get uh, a listing image if I want uh, from the property. So it's, again, 12866. Link, if I do that, it'll just come up. Here it is. And, ooh, this is super nice. Uh, I didn't see these before. Let's use, uh, oh, that's not the right one. Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> It's fine. We're just doing an example. It's a different listing. Um, there we go. Perfect. So, or you can create a thumbnail that says press play, you know, that type of thing. All right. So now I want to maybe throw in a couple more photos here so I can click edit and replace and listing images. All right. Oh, cool. This was the one that was Ken's. The other one wasn't. Um, so, Let's just use this, this nice kitchen one. And let's use 12.86. Let's use a different one. Oh, this is nice, the pool. There we go, perfect. So we can replace that. So now we got some photos there. And you can edit this if you like. Just contact me to schedule a tour. Um, here's where your name and your first and last name will show up. All of your contact information out here. Download my app. We can edit that. And we can throw um, the download my app. Um, uh, you can add your app address in here. So if we go into command and we grab your... KW app link under consumer. Go to site and app settings, URL, and then copy it. Let's go back over here and drop it right in there. And perfect. All done. All right. So now what I want to do is uh, I just want to review it. So let's preview it. Let's preview this email. Here's how it looks um, on a desktop, really nice, on a tablet and on a smartphone. Actually, it'll be mobile optimized, so don't worry. Uh, and so what we're going to do here is we can also preview it here. When it does get sent, this will be mobile optimized. So don't worry about that, guys. All right, here's what we want to do. Um, I want to save this. Oh, I got to give it a name first. So we can call it Lake Sawyer Lane. So I want to save that. Save it again. Now I'm going to send a test email just to make sure everything looks good. Send that test email. Okay, give it a minute or so, and we can open up my Gmail and take a look. Okay, let's refresh that. Sometimes it takes a few minutes. Oh, there we go. Perfect. I got the test email. And here we go. All right. So um, got the logo, got the house, got all the info here. When we click this and watch the video, goes right to the video. The seller of my newest listing. Cool. So let me click out of that because my 
internet stinks <laughs> so it's loading it down download my app lots of great looking stuff here okay this is a beautiful looking email i absolutely love 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 it now i'm going to show you guys how to send it out so we're going to go back here and we're going to save and exit now what we're going to do is we're going to go into campaigns <clears throat> We're going to create a new campaign and I'm going to do email. I'm not really going to send it out. I'm just showing you how to do it. And let's see, advertise listing, make sure that it's clicked on command email or MailChimp, whatever you decide to use. Set up campaign. Now I've got a bunch of lists here, um, <clears throat> and, but you can create a list by clicking create list and you can search by name, email, neighborhood, or by tags. So your tags will definitely show up and you just choose um, whoever uh, you wanna add, whichever tag you wanna add. Now I've already got lists, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do Facebook leads, uh, cause I think I have 15 or 20 um, recent leads on that list. So what I wanna do is I wanna come down here is I wanna select the design content for the email. So let's click that and we'll see under my templates, the Lake Sawyer Lane email. So when I click that, it'll bring it bring you to the email again to review it. When we save and exit, here we go. It brings us to the email, and we can always go back in and edit as we as we see fit. And we could say, you know, just listed as the subject line. So we've got our list. We've chosen the template that we just created. We've given it a subject and we can do a couple things here. We can schedule it. So um, if you want to send this out in a couple days at a specific time, you can definitely do that. Or you can just send it immediately by uh, clicking send. Um, if you want to preview it again, click preview. And again, we'll be able to see how it looks on different mobile platforms. So really, really nice looking guys. Um, this is a cool feature. I hope you guys take advantage of it. It's something that we weren't really able to do earlier, but everything looks great. It's branded to you. It's beautiful. It's bright. Lots of different buttons to click and, and you can put in a video. Um, so I hope that uh, this was helpful for you. Uh, I know that your, your seller clients are going to love it. Go ahead and make some, uh, make some custom listing emails. I hope this was a helpful video, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.